everyone, it's Claire here at Succulent Fan Club and I'm here visiting my parents in beautiful Portugal uh, and we're up on the Silver Coast, so the West Coast and they just have the most amazing collection of succulents um, and I'm going to give you a tour of their garden today So here we are at the back of their house um, and the sun has just come out from behind the clouds uh, and this is where they keep a lot of their collection. Now, they this area here next to the pool gets sun for almost the whole day. Um, and this is where they keep um, a lot of their aloes. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what these are, but they might be some agaves. Um, but I'm not absolutely sure. Um, they also sort of mix in with a lot of their other plants. This is a torch aloe, which as you can see is very, very sun scorched. Um, but really dense, needs a good sort of clearing out um, from all those dead leaves. But other than that, it gets watered once a week like all the others. Um, and this was a propagated Kalankoe that came from South Africa. As you can see as well, it's really nice and sun stressed, but it's got lots of babies growing. So obviously loving life as well. There's a tiny little propagation of um, a little jade plant there as well. Um, and here, this is called Crosby's Prolifica, and it's just in fact finished flowering. And again, really nice and dense, all those babies in there. You can see this is the size of my hand, um, and this is the size of the plant, so it's massive. Along the way, they've got some really cute little metal bird baths here. This one's hanging in the tree, and these were made in South Africa too. Um, and they're really adorable. I don't think the birds actually drink out of them, but they look really cute. Um, so amongst the geraniums and ferns, uh, I just bought this little gasteria that I'm going to decide what to do um, before it comes home with me, but it's just living here for now. Um, and then they've got this absolutely ginormous imbricata here that again is just loving the sunshine and it's flowering profusely. And then again some really nice uh, like raised pots which are really cute, so they're not getting the deck dirty. Um, and again, I've got this uh, Echeveria mandala growing in the side, along with the aloes. And then again, I've got a similar sort of aloe, and there's an Agavoidus, Echeveria agavoidus growing uh, either side of it, just there. So they just love the sun. Oh, and a little Sempervivan uh, growing in there too. These do stay out all year round, but they do have to be protected. Um, from the cold wind here in Portugal. And then here by the um, porch in sort of nice indirect sunlight is this Crisula Vata Jade. You can just see, again, it's enjoying not being in the direct sunlight, but it gets a thorough watering every, maybe a couple of times a week. Um, and it's looking really healthy. It likes not being in the direct sunlight. And then they've got a stand here that is full of different kind of propagations. It's got some sedum here at the back, um, some more aloes that they're growing. I think this is a little imbricata as well. Um, and then I think this is their string of nickels, I believe it is. And they've got quite a few of those. And they've got a variegated elephant bush here, which again is doing really well. They've got some cool um, variegation happening in there, it's all pink. And then coming down here, they've got quite an impressive mother of thousands. And I've never actually seen one that's got quite so many layers to it. That's looking really good. Uh, and some of these have just finished flowering too, these little orange flowers here. And the string of nickels too has got little purple flowers, little pink flowers just there looking really nice. Uh, and then here's just a normal uh, elephant bush. And so we're going to move over here where they have a lot of their other succulents and you can see just down there there's a little lizard just running away. Um, now most of the succulents don't get full sunlight, they just get this indirect sunlight all day long. In the winter the sun comes in at an angle um, and they get nice full sunlight during the winter, which is quite good for them. Um, and they've got these two really nice arrangements here. And they've incorporated some of these nice like stones and rocks that they've picked up along the way. Um, 
And the great things about these is that they all have kind of similar watering requirements. So they've all got fleshy leaves, they all sort of like the same amount of sunlight. Um, and you've got a baby's necklace here, you've got some different types of jelly bean plant, um, you've got peperomia, you've got a little adramiscus down here, tiger jaw. Uh, and then there's a little sausage plant growing just in there. And then similar for this one, uh, it's got a really big sausage plant. And you can see the sausages are actually coming up all over the place because they grow off the roots. And then they've also got some trailing succulents over the side. So they've got this burrow's tail. Um, and then they've got the bear paw and some more tiger jaw. And then again, you can see a little sausage coming up here. Um, little sausage toes everywhere, which are wonderful. And then underneath the arrangements, um, they've got, it looks like a Hummel sunset to me, Crisula Vata Hummel sunset. And this one under here is called a fairy castle, which I just found out the other day. Uh, and again, not sure if we should split it up or just keep it as it is, because I think it looks beautiful. And a little um, Hawarthia here at the back which flowered a little while ago. It's just got its little flower stalk there and another variegated elephant bush. And this, believe it or not, is a pineapple plant. And so moving along, uh, they've got another variety of peperomia here. Um, this is the sedum clavata, I think. Um, and another, I think this is Adramiscus fanfare, I believe, something like that. And another uh, Hawarthia cuperi here. You can see how see-through all the leaves are. Really nice. Uh, and then in here we've got some Kalankoe here with a really pretty powdery um, coating on it. And we've got some Echeveria mandala which uh, haven't got too much sun stress just yet. I'll show you some other good varieties. And here's a watch chain doing really well at the back. And then there's another variety of um, perforata back here. So string of buttons, I believe. I could be wrong. Um, right then, we've got a massive flapjack here, which you can see really pretty edges. And you've got a Fred Ives growing here too. You can see it's got a few massive heads growing off. Some more Imbricata, these got watered yesterday, so they get watered once a week. And another uh, mandala over here. So moving on from over there, if we come over to this other plant stand, um, I'm not absolutely sure what these are called. They're like a bigger version of a chalk stick. Um, we've got a little propagation of uh, Fred Ives here. And then over here as well, we've got some aloe veras and some little baby aloe veras which are looking a bit sun stressed healing ghost plant mixed in with some ferns which makes quite a nice arrangement and then down here i've got a really really dry hawarthia that i moved out of the direct sun because it was getting absolutely roasted and you can see uh, how dry it is so hopefully this will pick up a little bit and i believe this is some kind of aeonium that has some really nice color around the edges and got a little very very mixed up cactus going on in there um, and then if we come over here i've got this really cute uh could be a prickly pear it's got a little baby prickly pear just down there um this is a really really old jade um you can see it's old by how woody it is it's been out in the sun a bit more aloe vera and then again, just around the corner, I've got a really nice mix of um, aloe veras and this really nice trailing ghost plant. Section here in the backyard, um, they've got quite a nice uh, aeonium going on. So here I've come out into the front yard, so the front of their house, um, and I'll show you some of the collection that we've got going on here. And this is, my dad actually intends to make um, a stone garden for these. These succulents here are kind of in a holding for now until they can get planted out in the yard. Um, so we've got a really nice big imbricata here and then two of these big lush aeoniums. Uh, we've got another black aeonium there at the back 
and then we've got lots of these kind of flapjack type plants um, and this really pretty soft grey one that's got the um, powder on it there and then we've got a tiny little ghost plant again and then a nice little pot of uh, Echeveria agavoidus um, that's coming in nicely and then another set of mandala this really unusual coloured um, variegated elephant bush and this pretty sedum that's coming in with a little orange flower and then this plain elephant bush again and then down here again we've got some aloes and a little bear paw this is just a set of succulents i bought at the market recently uh, i bought myself some lithops and a gasteria here uh, and then some really nice unusual hawarthias uh, Adramiscus here again and some of the ones I really don't even know what they're called but I just thought they were very beautiful um, so that's part of the new collection and here at the front door they have just put together this new little um, window box at the front here which has a nice little mixture um, none of these except maybe the ghost plant will be very good over winter so they'll all need to be put into a very sheltered spot maybe covered up with some fleece but you've got your um, a little bit of a sunburnt agavoidus here and I'm not exactly sure what this is but it could be an aeonium um, but I'm not sure and then another mandala ghost plant and then this one I'm not absolutely sure it could be a bluebird or a peacocky eye um, please let me know in the comments if you do know and another chrysula avata here um, and then maybe just this little sedum so thanks for watching and doing a succulent garden tour here in portugal if you'd like to see some more please make sure you subscribe to succulent fan club here on youtube and check out our youtube our facebook community uh, search for succulent fan club all right see you soon